Platinum Trophy 169. Mm. You all know the drill. We're gonna get all the trophies. There are a total of 35 of them we need to get for this glorious Platinum Trophy. And unlike the last South Park game, which if you haven't, you should go check out that video. I'll link it down in the description. This one only has a singular missable trophy. So this is gonna be a cakewalk compared to that. Let's just jump right into it. First thing we do in the game is we have to make our character, and usually for trophies this stuff wouldn't be that important, but it is this time for our one missable trophy. We have to make our character's skin tone as dark as it could be. Trust me, it is very important. If we don't do this, we are out of that trophy. We have to do a whole other playthrough. As you can see, we're too busy inside dropping a deuce to help our friends defend Koopa Keep. So we have to complete this short little minigame, it's really simple, and once we complete it and we take our shit, we will get our first trophy. I expected nothing less from the beginning of a South Park game. Oh! First trophy, potty trade! That's right, I'm the deuce master! I should probably go help my friends now. Once we head outside, we learn how to fight. And they completely changed the battle system in this game from the first one. It's still turn-based, but now it's all done on, like, some grid, and you move around the grid and your attack, like, affects spaces on it. I actually like it a lot, and there's a lot of strategizing to it. Like, you want to hit your enemies into each other. It's really cool. And during the tutorial here, I knocked an enemy into another enemy, defeating him, and it gave me this trophy. Oh, and I also had this crazy epic battle against this big dragon. Oh wait, hold on a second, hold on a second. Stay out of the street, damn kids! Clear! As I was saying, crazy, epic, battle! Dragon, are you okay? Dragon? DRAGON! Yeah, uh, that was dumb. I I I'm sorry. <laughs> now that our dragon friend is defeated, we just had to sneak into Koopa Keep, and it was all going smoothly until I failed this quick time event. No! No, 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 we're not doing this joke again, we're not doing it again. Release the Bartle, you'll have the king to deal with! The king? They say he can slay a dragon with one blow. That's right, and if you don't... Uh, wait, wait, whoa, where is the wizard? Uh, I thought he was with you guys. Now we got a distress signal to come help him here. The wizard is gone. My name is the King. I'm from the future. Dude, we said we're not playing that anymore. Yeah, we're all split up. What's the point? This is the point. In my time, there is a massive crime wave and missing cats. I knew my only hope was to assemble the team. Hey, you can't switch games like this. Where's the stick of truth? Shut up, Kevin. This isn't about some dumb stick. There's a cat in trouble, and it's the key to finding the crime syndicate new to our town. In the future. Crime syndicate? That, that sounds too heavy for Coon and friends. Well, what do you want, Clyde? You want the fucking Freedom Pals to find the missing cat? Get the $100 reward and make their superhero franchise more popular? Fuck the Freedom Pals, dude. That's right. Poopsikins! There's a loud ringing coming from your basement playroom. The Coon Alert! Come on, Coon friends. Go get your stuff and report back to the Coon Lair. In the future, Coon and friends assemble. Sorry guys, you can't play with us. We're playing superheroes now and you guys are dorks. <laughs> what are these poor guys? We're just, they're dorks, whatever. That's right, no more wizards, warriors, and druids. It's all about superheroes now. And we are the Coon and Friends. And our mission is to find this very old kitty cat. He's kind of cute though. And we have to get the $100 reward for finding the missing cat to kickstart the franchise Coon and Friends, and we have to do it before the rival superhero group, the Freedom Pals, find the kitty cat. So the Coon sends everybody out to split up and look for the kitty cat, and we stay behind because, well, we need to become a superhero first. The first step to this is we have to pick our class, and at the beginning, we only have access to these three. We get a lot more later we can choose from. We can also change it any time and combine classes, but for now, I went with Blaster, which is basically a class that has a ton of range. 
And of course, every good superhero needs their origin story. Ours is pretty simple, but tragic. We wake up in the middle of the night to a sound, and we go out there and we find burglars robbing the house. While fighting them off, we discover our powers, and then after we defeat them, we go to check on our parents, and well, I'll let Cartman explain the tragedy. And what you saw when you opened that door changed your life forever, and led you to fighting crime. You were too late, because when you opened that door, you saw... You saw your dad fuck your mom. Wow, that's a pretty heavy backstory. You fight crime because you never forgot the night you weren't in time. And you saw your own father, the man you trusted, fuck your mom. It's like a ripple in time you can't ever change, isn't it? As a brand new superhero, we need to get well known and gain some followers. Getting followers in this game is very similar to friending people in the previous game, but instead of just talking to them, we have to approach them and request a selfie with them. Luckily, this time around, we don't have to actually get everybody like the last game, so it's not nearly as stressful. We just have to get like a decent amount. So down the street I went, friending every possible person I could. Not bad, Butho. You're gaining followers pretty fast. Keep up the good work. I'm still having trouble reaching some of the Kuhn friends. You might want to see what's going on. Alright, let's go check on our bros. The first guy we're going to check on is Craig, and when we find him, all we got to do is help him find his guinea pig. Next, we're going to go check on Kyle, and we have to help him deal with... I'm big! Oh, bring it on, you nerd! Who's your friend? Did he come to play with us? Lotion and, and, and some help applying it, please. Take this, big! That hurt my shoulder because my shoulder is sensitive because I pulled a muscle catching a balloon. Okay, I think my inner ear fluids have stabilized now. Uh, that last hit didn't count, right? I'm undoing that damage, okay, Kyle? Oh, no. Oh, this is bullshit. What? <laughs> Just breaking the rules like that. All right, here we go. My super ultimate power. Get ready. Are you ready? Oh, great. Oh, what now? Okay, Wrath Kite from an alternate universe. <laughs> I'm expecting a huge devastating attack. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. GG, bro. GG. On our way to the final person we gotta check on, who is Clyde, we'll encounter some 6th graders. Now, before we fight them, we'll have the option to choose our battle difficulty for our playthrough. You have to choose Mastermind difficulty here for the missable trophy. If you choose anything else, the trophy is void. Even if you choose Diabolical, I know Diabolical is harder. That was added in like an update as like DLC or something, and it just doesn't count for the trophy, which is really stupid. So pick Mastermind difficulty. Now onwards to Clyde. Isn't he just the cutest thing? He sure can eat a lot of wings. <laughs> yeah, so, so then I flew into the sky and I beat up all the bad guys. Wow, I didn't know mosquitoes could be so tough. Yeah, well, ever heard of the Zika virus? Another plate of wings, cutie? Sure, just put them on my tab. <laughs> Big spender. Wow, what a simp. Be gone, thought! Yeah, yeah, we only simp for Pokimane around here. Boink, bonk, bink! After I defeat the raisins, I headed over to the school, and let's just say my popularity as a superhero has skyrocketed, because I got this trophy to become friends with 10 people in South Park. Then I went over to the church, and while there, I fought some really creepy and weird priests. But when we defeated them, we got the ability to summon Moses, which gave us another trophy. Then with all our tasks complete, I head back to the Coon Lair to meet with Cartman, and he decided it's time for us to be able to dual class. So we get three more classes added to the pool of options, and then we have to redo our backstory. Pretty much the same as before, just revised a little bit, and in the end is, well... And that's when the unthinkable happened! You saw your dad fuck your mom. And from then on, you had to live with the fact that because you were busy helping a baby, you couldn't stop your mom from being fucked by your dad. That's heavy, man. I'm really sorry. I know you probably want to know why. Why your dad fucked your mom, but those are answers you'll have to find for yourself. Cunin friend alert! Cunin friend alert! Seriously, guys, alert! Alert! The Cunin friend alert! This is Coon, what's happening? It's the Freedom Pals! What have they done now? Just get to Main Street! Hurry! We're coming! Coon! Ow! Well, new kid, looks like you might be needing those newfound powers. Follow me! Before we head over to confront the Freedom Pals, we gotta set our abilities. So I am dual classing Brutalist and Cyborg. And as soon as we set at least one ability from each of those classes to our set, we will get this trophy. 
We were supposed to be a duo, remember, Tweak? Yeah, I remember. So when I walked out on Coon and Friends, you should have walked out with me. I like Coon and Friends. Because you had your own movie. Thank God you're here. They're really going at it. Super Craig had to have movies before Wonder Tweak was introduced. It made no sense otherwise. Your whole group makes no sense. Because you're a traitor, Tweak, and now you're with a group of super traitors. This was started by you. By people who thought there should be preferential treatment to certain heroes. We aren't the ones who walked out of the fucking franchise, Mysterion. Eric, you must listen to me. Right now, I'm speaking to you telepathically. Get out of my head, Timmy. Your franchise is going nowhere. Face the truth, Eric. You guys are kind of douchebags. He just called us douchebags in my mind. He did? All right, you son of a bitch. Ah! Bring it on, lesser franchise, which I'm going to be honest, you guys kind of look cooler than us, but you're still the lesser franchise because I'm stuck with the, um, Coon and Friends. Bring it on, Freedom Pals! This is probably going to be a waste, but let's do it anyway. Oh, a trophy! I did, I did not expect the trophy. Sweet. At the Hall of Super Best Friends. Let all debts be forgiven and all slaves free. No way I'm going to lose this now, I guess. Oh shit, it's all up to you, Craig. Show the show these guys what's boss. Dude, this guy's got no Oh. 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 Okay, okay, you got some moves, bro. You got some moves, you got some moves. My turn. Three on one, I got my ultimate. Who's gonna die? I think... You! Bravo. That's how you bring the pain. Holy fuck, I might actually do this. I got the one guy down. Oh! Oh, I'm getting a little low. I'm getting a little low. Oh, he died to the bird! Let's go! One on one, Craig versus Tweak. Definitely should heal up. This is I think this is my last heal item too. Unless I use the summon some more. Alright, back to full health. Oof. Not too much damage, not too much damage. Let's deck his ass. Boom! Come on, Craig! Come on, Craig! You can do it! The comeback! I honestly can't tell if I'm gonna win here. Oof, we're like both like I'm at a little less health than him. This is spooky. Come on. Punch! Wait, he just he just wasted his turn. One more punch should do it. I think I got this. I think we got this! Oh the shock! We're both so weak! He might kill me here! <gasps> he wasted his turn again! Yes! Yes! Come on and BOOM! <laughs> we did it! We did it! Oh, Craig, you're a legend! Death Dodger! Trophy! Yes! <laughs> Let's go! Good job, new kid! You're really getting the hang of this! Oh, yep, uh, no problem. Yeah, it was definitely me. It was not Craig. Yep, I did everything. Anyways, Cartman managed to get Timmy's phone, and on it we got a lead. That lead is we have to find the woman with the penis tattoo. It's also been decided it's time that the rest of the group finds out about my character's backstory. He's had a tough life. When he was six years old, his dad fucked his mom. What? I'm sorry, friend, but it's time they learned your tragic backstory. Butthole doesn't trust anyone because his dad fucked his mom and he couldn't do anything to stop it. That doesn't make any sense. I know. How could the person you trust do that to the only other person you love? Cartman, everyone's dad fucked everyone's mom. Huh? That's how it works, stupid. Our dads fucked our moms. Oh, right. So does that mean your dad fucked your mom, Cam? Huh? Yes! My dad fucked my mom! That's why I'm here! Don't steal his backstory, dude. That's not cool. You're so fucking stupid! Every human alive on Earth had a dad who fucked their mom stop, and- Stop, stop! This is not what's important right now! We need to find the lady with the dick tattoo! Yeah, let's get home so we can prepare for evening missions. Let's go, coon friends! He's such a fucking idiot! It's okay, calm down. I'm afraid you'll have to deal with that kind of bigotry your whole life, butthole. When people don't understand, they lash out. I'm going to let you be a sidekick tonight to one of the coon friends. Go home and sneak out after your parents are asleep. I'll fill you in later. 
Our partner for tonight is the Captain Diabetes. And shortly after sneaking out, we'll encounter a drunk Randy and beat his ass to stop him from drunk driving and take his keys. Then I got this trophy for combining multiple costume sets. I wonder, where could we find a girl with a penis tattoo? The Strip Club! In the club, we'll do some investigating. And apparently there is a stripper with a penis tattoo and her name is Classy. So we call her out to the catwalk. All right, guys, put your hands together. Make sure you tip your edges. The things are about to get a little bit hot on the lace Please welcome Classy. Uh, that's right, guys. Let's get her on out here. That's Classy with an eye and a little dick that fucks the hell out of the ASS. Give it up for Classy. Hey, what you calling me out for? I ain't on stage yet. Wait a minute, you ain't the DJ. That must be her new kid. Oh shit, it's 5 -0. Cops are here. After her. We got a runner, boys. Oh, great. What the fuck? Take this, you ho! Damn, that was a one shot. Oh, great. Where she's going now? Oh, my gosh. What's hey, happening? Let me hear you, asshole. The cops are here. What? Get inside. Go on, scram. I ain't afraid to use this. Yeah, thing. but we got diabetes on our side. That was easy. Classy ended up running into this Italian restaurant, and while here, we encounter the rest of our coon friends. So all together, we fight our way through the whole kitchen staff, and then we find out they have a bunch of cats all trapped back here for some reason. And when we finally make it to where Classy is, and we confront the big boss guy, they're about to kill us, but then Drunk Randy shows up and saves the day. But he's not so friendly to us, because he wants his keys, so we have to beat him up again, and when we defeat him, we get this trophy. After that crazy adventure, we take Classy back to the Coon Lair, and we find out that there's some kingpin crime lord behind it all. And he's working with the Italian crime family and the Chinese crime family to bring them together for some big operation. Unfortunately, we can't learn too much because it is end of the road and we are out of time. Eric Cartman, do you have any idea what time it is? This is a school night. Mom, not now. We're seriously onto something. You kids all get home now, or I'm calling your parents. Sorry, Mrs. Cartman. Please don't tell my mom. And who is this stripper woman? These cool friends offer me protection. Well, she's not staying here. Fine. Fast pass. Take her to your house. Okay. <laughs> the way he just, like, zips off. <laughs> this is going to make us look bad. You fucked up. It wasn't our fault. This kid just came into the restaurant and started farting like there was no tomorrow. All you Italians are supposed to do is move the product. The Chinese and Russians do the rest. Everything has to be discreet and quiet or people are going to learn the truth. That we put the product into people's drugs and alcohol in order to create more crime. Oh, look at the cute little putty cat. Oh, oh what, what is he doing? What is he doing? What? You just keep doing your part in getting the cheese out on the streets. Or maybe I'll start dealing directly with the Russians, or the Chinese, or the sixth graders. I know the story is getting super juicy right now, but I decided to take a little break to grind a level or two and also do some miscellaneous tasks for trophies. The first trophy I got here was to use my time fart ability to cancel an enemy's turn and then have them die from a status effect. And ending the same battle gave me this other trophy. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not 100% sure how this works, but like periodically throughout the game or after every quest or battle, I don't know. But there's items that will spawn in this toy box in your room, and when I looted it this time, I got this trophy for looting 100 biohazard items. To the left of the strip club, I blew up this wall and then opened this chest, which gave me a costume piece, and that gave me this trophy for finding 10 costume pieces. Now I'm at Kyle's house, too. I'm big! Oh, dear God, not again. Will you deal with him, please? Four on one, it's hopeless for this dude, especially when I use the power of diabetes on him. Oh, <laughs> 
Okay, okay, that does it. You guys asked for it. And now Human Kite shall use his Hebrew faith to call upon the power of the wind. Hikmel Shigina. Let the strength of the wind make my kite fly and... Oh, Jesus, it came off. Oh, Jesus, my kite just blew up into the tree, Cousin Kyle. Then give up. Don't worry, Super Buddy Cousin. Perhaps I no longer have my kite, but I still have my super weapon. <gasps> and Sheila! These kids are picking on me! What, but what? Who's picking on you? Who are you kids? No are way! Okay, this is absolutely yeah, ridiculous. This music, what is this? This sounds so familiar, too. What? What? <laughs> Get over here! <laughs> Take that. Okay, everyone, just stop. We're taking this too far. To heck with that. These boys need to lend some manners. Yeah, what the fuck is happening? Go also, I know where the music's from. It's uh, Kyle's mom's a big fat bitch. Yeah, yeah, it is. Kyle's mom's a big fat bitch. He's the biggest bitch you've ever. Whatever. I don't remember the lyrics. Once that weird ass and hilarious battle was over, I was back out in the open world, and I don't think people are big fans of me because this happened. You made a real mistake when you attacked us. Wait, I'm I'm by myself. How many am I gonna fight? Wait, how okay, many am I fighting? Would you like to see the that, There's so many of them. Like my oh my gosh, my how am I gonna do this by myself? Now I think it's a good time to see what this item does. What's going on? It's no! 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 <laughs> just lighting them up! What the fuck? This is crazy! They're just shooting children! Oh! <laughs> this game really is just surprise after surprise. After that battle, I farted my way to the top of Skeeter's bar. Once I was up here, I crafted this item and got this trophy for crafting 10 different recipes. And that item I crafted taught me this new fart ability, which allows me to freeze time during battle and then run around freely and punch people. And my first battle using it, I got this trophy to kill the final enemy of a battle while time is stopped. Eventually, I came across this dude, and it gave me the option to change my skin tone, which I did not fall for this trap. I stuck with the darkest skin tone, because if I changed it here, it would have voided me from the missable trophy, which would have sucked. Let's get on with this story, shall we? So we talk to Classy, and she tells us that all the thugs are keeping the cats at the U Store area in South Park. Once nightfall reaches, we head over to the U-Store unit to try to find some kitties, but when we get here, we find that Professor Chaos has set up his lair. Then I went on a really long trek through the whole unit, fighting Chaos minions, having to solve puzzles, until I came across this secret meth lab. Hey, what the fuck? Who is that? Oh my god, that's the vigilante! That's right, the king! And some little fat kid, too! This cat! Where is it? That's some real high-grade shit there. Cat like that would go to the boss man himself. You idiot! You don't talk about him! Now we gotta kill these shits! Tweaker battle! Let's go! What did he just throw at him? I really hope that wasn't cat piss. Time to avenge the kitties. Slice, slice, slice. Yeah, for the hardest difficulty, well, kind of hardest difficulty, I guess. That was uh, that was pretty easy. Pretty easy. Not bad, not bad. All right, all right, look, it ain't us, okay? The big man has all the crime families working together. The Italians, the Russians, the sixth graders, they all work for him. We just put the cat urine in the drugs and alcohol. Who is the big man? He don't even do it for the money, man. It's like, it's like he wants more crime in the streets. Wow, that sounds spooky. You don't even know spooky, man. We got to do this if they tell us. Don't you get it? We're already dead for telling you. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? He just sprayed himself in the head with the- Oh my. No, the cats, the cats! <gasps> the, the cats. The cats! No! Anyways, I mean, I'm kind of sad now because the cats, but after we, after we d d defeated the tweakers, we 
we fight uh, Professor Chaos boss fight, and when we defeat him, we, 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 we get a, we, we get a, uh, uh, we get a, uh, tra <laughs> trophy. <laughs> Yeah, it's me. Nobody knows anything about this kid. Not what race he is, not even if it's a boy or a girl. What do we do, sir? Just keep getting the product into people's drugs and alcohol. I'll handle the vigilante. This deal's getting out of control. You said you could get the mayor out of office. You wanted to be left alone, Commissioner. To do what you love doing. I've made that happen. Just stay calm and soon everyone will have exactly what they want. We were unable to find the cat we're looking for last night, so the coon has come up with a new plan today, and that is that we're gonna have an inside man on the Freedom Pals, and that just happens to be me. And for some reason, Professor Chaos is like a good guy now, so we sneak to the Freedom Pals lair and try to join their forces. Gee whiz, would you look at this? Wow, now this is a superhero base! Yeah, they have a way cooler base than us, whatever. Either way, with a little bit of convincing, we do get into the Freedom Pals. The coolest part about joining the Freedom Pals is we have access to all of them as party members now, and I gotta say, they are pretty cool to play as. Tweak is like a full-on magic user. He can use his lightning, and then he can also freeze opponents, and it steals one of their turns, which is kind of crazy. And then Token, I don't even know how to describe him. He put turrets on the ground, and then he like also spins around and pushes enemies all the way. But let's get into the important stuff. When I defeated these cops, I completed one of my titles on my character sheet thingy for like defeating cops or whatever, and it gave me this gold trophy. My favorite one of these new party members though has gotta be Mysterion. Something unique about Mysterion is when he dies in battle, he doesn't actually leave the battle, but rather he turns into a ghost. And then as a ghost, you can control him and he doesn't really have any attacks that do damage, but he puts status ailments on people. What? This is awesome. I'm controlling him like as a ghost. This is cool. Let's see here. Let's confuse you. There we go. Hopefully he'll kill the dude that has no health. Come on, confused guy. Yes, kill him. Kill the dude. Yes, master manipulator. I was going for that trophy for a while, but I had no way of confusing anybody until now. <laughs> I think now is a good time to briefly explain how powerful you are as determined in this game. So there are items called artifacts that you can equip to yourself, and each of them have a number on them called might. So the more might you have, the stronger you are. They have little other bonuses too, but I kind of just ignored those my entire playthrough. And as you level up, you get more artifact spots. Here you can see I leveled up, got a new slot, and when I equipped this, I got over 600 might, which rewarded me with a trophy. While talking about artifacts, I might as well mention you can also craft artifacts. And here you can see I crafted these very, um, interesting looking teeth. And they have a might level of 95. And then I got this trophy for crafting an artifact that has a might level of at least 75. Alright guys, listen up. Buttlord has discovered that the Freedom Pals are infiltrating the police station tonight. We have to get there before they do. The police station? We can't take down the police, are you crazy? Yeah, just let the Freedom Pals go do it. We can't do that, guys. Why not? Because at approximately 10.30 a.m. this morning, Classy was arrested by the police. How do you know? Yo, what the fuck? You came where little bitches said you protect my ass. They only give me one motherfucking phone call, so y'all niggas better come and get me the fuck out of here, lame-ass superhero wannabe motherfuckers. <laughs> We have to help her, fellas. We made a promise. If we let Freedom Pals go do this on their own, then we're the douchebag franchise they say we are. But why would Freedom Pals work with us? Don't forget the new kid is all buddy-buddy with Freedom Pals now. But Lord can trick them into an assault on the lower level of the police station, and meanwhile we'll sneak in and bust Classy out. We're probably gonna get the Freedom Pals killed. And then whose superhero franchise would be number one? Oh hell yeah, this is gonna be an awesome mission. But before we head out, Cartman decides that we could have up to four classes at once, so we get more classes added to our thingy. And as usual, he updates our backstory, and it ends tragically once again. I'll just let Cartman explain. You ran to your parents' door, and before anything bad could happen, you ran inside to protect your mom! But you were too late, your dad totally fucked her. Oh, it must be tearing you apart inside. 
how people can do that to other people, I just, I'm, I'm so sorry. Anyway, we've got work to do tonight. I'll see you at the police station. One quick thing we gotta do before we head out for a mission is edit our abilities and equip one ability from each of our four classes, and that will reward us with this trophy, Master Classed. The two teams reach the police station at the same time and end up just deciding to work together. So let's go! You know what a cop is, new kid? A cop is a slave. A robot who's told not to think for himself. It's the politicians who are the real bigots. That mayor has been sitting in her office telling us we have to change our ways. The only way to have her removed was to raise crime in the streets. And now cops are finally able to do things the old way again. Don't you see this is better for everyone? Holy shit, that scramble! What? You found the missing cat, but Lord! Freedom pals, we've got the police chief, top floor! What can I say, you kids have me by the balls. Almost by the balls. You know, not every prisoner we have here is black. We actually do have one white guy. Oh, who is it? Who is the one white guy they have arrested? This is a trap! I'm sorry, kids, but you left me I'm kinda no scared. Choice. Who is it? Oh my gosh! No 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 Yeah, we we aren't gonna talk about that boss fight. Anyway, let's just chase the police chief down because he went down this random elevator that is taking us very, very far down. What the What kind of place is this? Let's go, open the gate! Hey, yo, what'd you just say? Uh, what? Yo! Hey, I always, I always knew, I always knew, uh, cops were racist. <gasps> what is that thing? Oh, I see. I guess because cops feed African Americans to an elder god, they're racist. Shub Niggeroth is an outer god, kids, who must be appeased and whose coming was foretold by the great H.P. Lovecraft. But I suppose H.P. Lovecraft was a racist too. Oh fuck, was he really? Like, like how racist? Really, really? Yo, it's my homeboy! Get me the fuck up out of here, these niggas completely crack! Am I, uh, am I allowed to show this on YouTube? Let's do this. Let's defeat... I don't even know how to say that without being cancelled, to be honest. It was actually a pretty easy boss fight. The only thing of note I'd say that happened during it is that I used this ultimate, which gave me a trophy for using every single ultimate in the game at least once. Yeah, yeah, die whatever you are. Oh! Damn! Easy peasy! Prince, we did it! We got scrambles! Yeah, yeah that's crazy! Scrambles? I can't believe you little niggas did it. Thank y'all. I feel like I'm finally safe in this shithole town. You're welcome. Who are you? Oh my god, you guys. We've got a hundred bucks to get our franchise off the ground. Fucking cooted friends. Fuck yeah, you guys. Fuck yeah, you guys. We got a trophy as well. Unfortunately, though, things aren't completely good yet because, well... Conflict arises between the two superhero groups, and they begin fighting, but Timmy mind controls all the Kunin friends, and we have to beat sense into them. The good part about this fight is, though, it creates, like, the perfect opportunity to get a trophy that would otherwise be a very annoying trophy to get. So as you defeat your mind-controlled teammates, Timmy will lose control and they will rejoin your side. However, when they rejoin your side, they'll be sitting at one health, so they'll most likely get killed immediately. So by like the end of the fight, you'll just have a bunch of teammates laying dead on the ground. And then there's a trophy to end the battle with three teammates down, and typically you only have four people per battle, so it's like supposed to be the last teammate alive. But the game thinks it is, because there's three people down, but you really have a bunch of people, and then when you end the battle with three of them down you get the trophy anyway even though you have a ton of people left 
Man, I love taking the easy way out on trophies. It turns out, though, that Timmy was really looking out for the Kunin friends as well as the Freedom Pals, because he came up with some master plan to make both franchises super famous. So both teams decide to settle their differences and join forces and become one cohesive unit known as the Freedom Pals. And this all finally comes to one happy ending. Citizens of South Park deserve to be a safe. Safe from vigilantes who go around farting on people's heads. Together, we can free ourselves from the anal terrorism that has been forced upon us. My name is Mitch Connor, and I endorse this message. South Park's got this awesome new mayor too. Oh, this ending's just getting better and better. I think we could do some miscellaneous trophies. In the homeless camp of South Park, there's this giant tower and we have to jump to the top of it with our fart core. And now we just gotta go all the way back down again. <laughs> I got this next one just completely randomly. I got a call on my phone from Classy, and she said if I ever need help, I can call her. So it was the last summon I needed, and that gave me a trophy for getting all summons. The next one gave me way more problems than it should have. We have to pick up every single, like, item on the ground in the homeless camp, and I could not find the last one for the life of me. The last one I needed is that little tiny silver quarter thing right there, and I just couldn't find it. So I'm going to save you, like, 30 minutes of me looking for it, and here it is when I pick it up, and that gave me a trophy. It's time to become a gambling addict. Oh, baby, what's it gonna land on? What's it gonna land on? Oh, that's some big bucks right there. Now that I won once, I can't stop ever again. Doesn't matter if I go bankrupt. Don't land on bankrupt. Don't land on bankrupt. Don't land on bankrupt. Yeah, baby. Woo. Let's dive into some power-ups. So this is <gasps> all bankruptcies turned to gold. That is OP as fuck. Oh, we didn't even need it anyway. That was a that was a lot of money right there. We're almost leveled up. We're no longer gonna be poor. We are now considered low class. Let's go. Let's spin it again and keep going. What does this skill do? Skill stop the wheel. So we can just stop it whenever we want. Oh! That's yeah, that's instant. Instant. Three times payout multiplier. Oh, this is gonna be good. We are only at Wage Slave we're about to go to, and we need to go all the way up to here. This is intense. All right, I'm gonna use this power up. Yeah, press the stop, we gotta use it. This is too risky, that huge thing of just... Ah, yes! <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot believe I did that. New class, let's go. Short sell, let's use this. What does this do? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! I did not think it would do that! I'm so close, I just need this one more good spin. This is the last good spin. Yes! Yeah, corporate woof! We are now a billionaire! Elon Musk, step aside! New guy in town! Let's head over to the lair and see what the gang's up to. Timmy's franchise plan. All that work. It's barely even readable. It must have come in the night. Got past the security grid. <laughs> Who the hell would do this? I'll bet it was the sixth graders. Only they would stoop to this level. No, this was someone who wanted to hurt us personally. Yes, Siri. Incoming video message. Play the message, full screen. Oh, oh. What is this place? Hey, isn't that the new kid's parents? <laughs> this is a message to Coon and friends. Oh, God damn it! Looks like I had something that the new kid wants. That's good, because the new kid had something that I want. Connor, that son of a bitch! Care to make a trade, new kid? Let's make a deal. Hey, listen, you're gonna be in big trouble if you don't- <laughs> oh, oh, He hit me! Did you see that? Get out, Dad. And then do exactly as I say, new kid, or you will never see your parents again. And hurry! Or else there'll be more of this. Wait! 
Where are they, fat ass? Where is who, human cat? The new kid's parents, where are they? How should I know? Because that's fucking you. You took the new kid's parents because you hate that we merged with Freedom Pals. That's not true. I want this mega franchise more than anybody. Tell him, Gat. You have five seconds, Cartman. I'm on your side. New kid, you believe me, don't you? Yeah, I believe you because that's Mitch Connor yeah. on there, the guy running for mayor. I'll prove my innocence, you assholes. Come on, we gotta get that fat fuck. I'm so confused. Why did the politician Mitch Connor kidnap my parents? Either way, we, we chased him to this community center. Oh my god, look! Where, where, where? If it isn't the Freedom Pals and their newest recruit. What have you done with the new kid's parents, fat ass? Nothing yet. But when I'm finished with you, I can't say they'll be exactly safe. This has gone far enough. We end it now. The only thing about to end is you, Mysterio. We aren't gonna fight you, Carmen. Now put your stupid hand down and stop playing games. <gasps> the coon you was Mitch Connor the entire you time? the new kid's followers now. Even with their help, you can't stop me, Keen. We'll see about that, motherfucker. All right, Cartman. You want us to kill Mitch Connor? We'll fucking kill him. <laughs> we get to fight Mitch Connor, who currently has the coon hostage. And other than the fact that Mitch Connor really doesn't like to play by the rules. That afflicts burning too. So yeah, he likes to cheat, just like all politicians out there. Anyway, it's still a fairly easy boss fight despite that. Mysterion, you're gonna end this, or as he likes to say, Mysterion. Dude, that combo is so cool. And there it is, Mitch Connor defeated. Or is he defeated? <laughs> He's like, yeah, you did it, guys. Yeah, let's go. Where are they? Where are the new kid's parents? <laughs> You'll never know. I don't know. Shit, he's gone. Come on, we're taking this fat piece of shit back to base. What fat piece of shit, human cat? The only way we're going to get Carmen to talk is to torture him. Yeah, sometimes torture is the only answer. You're going to torture me for what? Everyone get back to Freedom Pal's base. We have to make this shithead talk. What are you talking about? Guys, it's me, the king. With this. With a lot of interrogation, torture, and, well, I guess just farting in his face, we managed to learn that Mitch Connor has our parents trapped in some weird genetics lab that is located on the outskirts of South Park. When we reach the genetics lab, we confront Mitch Connor, and we find out that his plan is to become mayor so he can make every day Christmas. Unfortunately for us, though, coming here is exactly what he wanted, because we fall into one of his traps. What the- I <laughs> I think what the heck kind of Oh my god what happened to him? He's all like genetically okay, mutant. Cousin, <laughs> I'm a horrific genetic mutation. It's okay, cousin. We'll get you Oh my No, because I think the cellular restructuring has affected my brain and I have to attack you while I get a migraine. Prepare for the <laughs> Classic, <auto -warping>. classic. <laughs> oh my gosh. I ended up really enjoying this boss fight with the amount of strategy that went into it, and it was pretty tough. For starters, he has a lot of health, like he is incredibly tangy. His attacks are also AoE and do massive damage, so it's like good to have your party members as spread out as possible during this fight. His weakness is also pretty funny. We utilize our new time fart ability that basically lets us like change time with our farts. Which, by using this ability, we could change it to daytime, and then he has to put a bunch of sunscreen on himself so he doesn't get sunburned. And while he's doing that, we can get a bunch of free hits in, and he won't attack us at all, so like that makes it incredibly easy. And then, out of so many turns later, we get to do the same thing but turn to nighttime, and he has to wipe all the sunscreen off, which gives us a bunch of free hits. And, of course, when we defeat him, we will get this story-related trophy. <laughs> Woo! We did it, boys! We defeat the mutant monster, we put a stop to Mitch Cotter's plans, and now everything's back to normal! Oh yeah! Sweet! Oh, uh, wait, wait a second. What the? What? What is this? What the? No! What, what, what's happening? Uh, uh. The whole mayor's office is blocked like a fortress! How can Cartman do that? He can do whatever he wants. He's mayor. Look! Up in the window! Oh, no. It's over. We lost. 
Apparently all of our farting during the boss fight with Mutant Kyle made us skip ahead 10 days in the future, so that means Mitch Connor is already mayor. So now we have to utilize our farts to go back in time, and we end up back at the beginning of the game. While in the past too, we get to fight our past selves, and this fight is just awesome. I hope me punching myself doesn't affect me now. <laughs> you know, this time travel stuff just always confuses me. Games and movies. Yeah, take that, bro. Or take that, me. Oh, this music! Oh my gosh, this is the battle theme from the first game. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> Oh, this is so cool. I'm like fucking mm. fanboying so hard right now. This is awesome. Oh, is he doing? Oh my god, he still does this. Dude, I hated this in the last game. Yeah, this is so like. Oh, it's cool how they're doing it, like, again, as like a reference to the last game, but oh, I hate dealing with this shit. The clones. There's no way. Why did the summons work? It makes no sense. Do they work? I mean, it's let me use it, yeah. What? It makes no sense that the summons work. We don't know Classy yet, and Classy didn't come back in time with us. I mean, I guess we still have her number, right? We just give her a call, and she just shows up, even though she doesn't know us. <laughs> okay. Boom! That's gonna take care of those crate clones. <laughs> yeah, you did. So wait, if we kill my past self, does that mean I'm technically committing suicide? Yeah, get owned, bro. Oh, wh why is everyone getting back up? What? Oh, the oh, the fight's so... Okay, I guess he just had to kill the king. You didn't have to kill everybody, because Kyle was still alive. Nice. Oh, you cannot cross here? This is all lava. We don't have time for this shit. Oh my god, how'd he do that? Are you joking? It's like the rules don't even matter. Jesus Christ, did you see that? Oh, hi, kids. I believe Eric is up in his room. Guys! I was just traveling back in time to find you! A cat's missing. There's a big reward. Wait, why are you guys already playing superheroes? We know what you're up to, fat ass! Mysterion? But you're with the Freedom Pals! We're all Freedom Pals! We're from the future, you fat turd! No, I'm from the future. I was just coming back to Stick of Truth Times to get you guys. We aren't playing anymore! We know everything! Show us your left hand! My left hand? For what Show us your fucking left hand! Heh! <laughs> Hello, Freedom Pals. Time travel. Ain't it a bitch? I love how it's just like implied he has it on his hand at all times. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Through a bunch of crazy events, we end up traveling through time again with the coon, and this time we end up on Mitch Connor's inauguration day. Come on, we can still stop this fucker. There he is, guys. Y you're alive? Oh, thank God. <laughs> Mitch Connor's about to be sworn in. Come on, guys, we gotta stop him. You're not going anywhere, you piece of shit. You're gonna finally admit this was all you. I am not on Mitch Connor's side, you guys. Stop this. You are Mitch Connor. Admit it, Cartman. No, I'm not, Cal. Admit it. No, Cal. I have no control over Mitch Connor. You are Mitch Connor. You've always been Mitch Connor, and you better stop right fucking now. Then how do you explain this, Cal? <laughs> All right, this is getting too ridiculous. Let's just go right into the boss fight. Knock it off, Cal. Seriously, it's not fucking funny. Dude, I'm not doing it. Bullshit. Where's the matter, Coon? You're not happy to see me? Now, this fight serves as the final boss of the game, and it's not really much of a threat because it's mostly just Kyle and the Coon fighting each other, both with Mitch Connors on their hands, and we're kind of just off to the side, and once we finally kill them both, we will get this trophy. Finally, through the bowels of time, hopefully that's the end of this Mitch Connor. Fine! Maybe I'll admit it. I'll admit I was just fucking with you guys. But only if Kyle admits to it first. I'm not saying anything until he does. You admit it first. All right, fine. We'll both admit it at the same time, all right? On three, we'll both say I was just fucking with you. Fine? Fine. Okay, fine. One, two, three. I was just fucking with you. Ha ha, gotcha! Oh, you asshole! Right, all right, enough talking. Just make me mayor already. It's Mitch Connor! Go on, hurry, swear me in. All right, uh, to begin the inauguration, Mr. Connor, would you raise your right hand, please? I do solemnly swear. 
Adieu, solemnly swear. Wait! Wait, stop! No! What's going on here? Just finish this ceremony! Everyone, listen! This is all just a plan! <laughs> Look at his face! <laughs> his face! <laughs> He's just sitting there with his mouth wide open. Everything was thought of by this asshole! And that's the end of the game! It was an amazing story. I loved this game so much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think it was actually slightly better than the first one. Anyway, now that we're done, we're going to get our one missable trophy. And that one missable trophy is the token experience. Only four more trophies. And they're super easy, guys. Real easy. I promise. I promise. First, we have to go to Freeman's Tacos. And while here, we got to purchase this recipe. And the only ingredient I was missing to craft that recipe were these grapes from this farm. So I just gotta get this here, use it, spin around. Now when we pick up the juice, we gotta craft the item. And boom, fully bloated. Now we gotta get into the main type of collectibles and those are the Yaoi art pieces. Yeah, you heard me correctly, Yaoi art pieces. And they're just little pictures you can find spread out around South Park. And of course, when we find the last one, it will give us this trophy. The other, which I guess you can kind of refer to them as collectibles, are the toilet mini games. Basically every toilet in South Park, they're all in like houses, some are like in this porter potty and other ones are just in random buildings. You can shit in them and they're pretty much identical to the mini game that you did at the beginning of the game. And as soon as you finish all the toilet mini games, you will get this trophy. For our final trophy, we have to defeat Morgan Freeman. And you might have noticed my character is no longer black, he is white. The reason is because Morgan Freeman will not fight you if you're a black character. This is by far the hardest battle in the game. It is supposed to be incredibly difficult, but I'm not afraid to admit it. For this battle, I went pussy mode and turned the difficulty all the way to the easiest. And the reason is, well, two reasons. One, if you watch my channel, you know I suck at video games. I always take the easy way out. And two, it was really late at night. I did not want to go to sleep without this platinum. So I just wanted to get this over with and get this platinum trophy. Let's end this the best way I know how to with the power of diabetes. Yeah, get owned, bro. All right. All right. I don't even see his mouth moving while he's talking. Yeah, we win. Where's my platinum trophy? Where is it? Please give it to me. I want to go to bed. <laughs> I'm so tired. I've been playing for so long. Yeah, yeah, come on. Oh, oh, yes! Farts over freckles, and... 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 Yeah! That took a second. Ooh, new animation. That's kind of cool. That wasn't there last time I got a trophy. Let's go!